All right, hello and welcome. My name is Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney here at Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. Today, I have an announcement and I have a process that I want to share with you. The announcement is for the people of Ukraine, okay? Uh, yesterday, the 3rd of March of 2022, Alejandro Mayorkas, the Secretary of Homeland Security here in the United States, announced that they'll be issuing TPS, or Temporary Protected Status, for citizens of Ukraine who are living in the United States. All right? So, uh, and, you know, what should I say, right? Right now, it's March 4th. This announcement happened yesterday. Ukraine and Russia are at war, right? My, my heart goes out to the people of Ukraine. Um, if, you want to, if you want me to be honest with you, my heart also goes out to the people of Russia. All right, we've had clients from Russia, we've had clients from Ukraine, and um, it's a horrible situation. And I know that there are uh, good people on both sides of this conflict who wish that there weren't a conflict, right? So this is a tragic and horrible uh, thing that's happening, and um, there are a lot, millions of people that are caught up in it and if you're from the Ukraine and if you're here in the U.S., you now have um, an option to apply for something called TPS, Temporary Protected Status. And that's what I want to talk about for today's purpose. I'm actually going to share my screen and I want to talk about who's eligible for TPS and, and how to apply for TPS. All right. So bear with me and, uh, and let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do this. So, um, all right, Ukrainian TPS eligibility. This is what you got to show, all right? Uh, there's four requirements. First, you got to show that, yes, you are a citizen or national of Ukraine. You do that with your Ukrainian passport, birth certificate, whatever other national ID or documents you've got. Two, you've got to show you entered the U.S. before March 1st of 2022, okay, this year, and like Tuesday, right, of this week. Okay, I'm filming this. It's the 4th of March of 2022. So you have to have been here a whole of three days at least in order to be eligible for this. And you have continue, You have to show that you've continuously resided in the United States since that time, since that date, since before March 21st of 2022. Third, you can't have a felony conviction. You can't have two or more misdemeanor convictions. All right. And really, if you have any arrest record at all, conviction or not, you're going to need it. All right? You're going to need it to apply. And four, you have to be, quote unquote, admissible. So you can't have arrests, fraud, false claims to U.S. citizenship, alien smuggling, terrorism, persecution of others. You can't trigger any of the, quote unquote, bars to asylum. If you have any of those issues, you really need to talk it over with a immigration lawyer who can examine those issues first to make sure you really are eligible for TPS before you submit your application. Okay. All right. So that's eligibility. If you have questions about eligibility, we'd love to, you know, uh, to meet with you and talk about it. Now what I'm going to show you is, um, this is just from our firm here. I just created this on our letterhead here. Um, now what I'm going to show you is the checklist that we use, for how to apply for this, all right? So um, I'm gonna add a line there, make it look a little prettier, consistent with the other things. Yeah, good. All right, so here's the checklist, okay? There are three forms involved. Um, at least there's three forms when a law firm does it. So the first is the I-821, which you can download from USCIS.gov, um, which is the form for TPS. Uh, the second form is the I-765. The I-765 is always the form that we um, use for applying for work authorization, for a work authorization document. And it comes, looks kind of like a driver's license a little bit. Uh, it's government-issued ID, and you send passport-style photos along with it to get your work card. Okay? And then in our office, we always send form G28 also because we represent our clients as we go through this process. So those are the forms. 
Uh, next, you've got to show documents related to Ukrainian nationality. That could be your Ukrainian passport, Ukrainian birth certificate, a copy of Ukrainian national ID. You send those in. Don't send your original passport. Just send copies of everything. Okay? Third, you've got to show documents showing the date of your entry into the United States, and you've got to show that you entered before March 1st of 2022. Okay? A copy of your current passport can work showing the stamp of admission, if you've got it. A copy of your I-94, which is the arrival departure record. All of that, show, show that. Next, you've got to show documents showing your continuous residence in the United States. Um, so that could be employment records or a rental. You know, if you're paying rent at a place, you're paying utility bills, school records, hospital records, church records, whatever you have to show that you are continuously residing in the U.S. since before March 1st of 2022, all right? Like at this stage, it's Friday of the same week. So if you've got anything from this week, you could, you could send it off, all right? Um, and then two passport style photos, and there is a filing fee, which is currently $545. You pay it out via personal check or money order made out to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. And you wait, and there's going to be a backlog. There's going to be a lot of people applying. I do recommend getting on this as early as you can because there will be so many people applying. And if my office can help you in any way with that process, we'd love to do it. Um, so that's all. That's all I got to say for today. Again, my heart goes out to the people of Ukraine. Um, sorry that there's an imperfect world we live in with... Um, I mean, it's, there's violence, there's, there's violence, there's people dying. I mean, there's no way to sugarcoat it. So my heart goes out to, um, you, if you are from the Ukraine and if my office can help you in any way, uh, we're just a phone call away. All right. So, uh, give us a call. We could at least do a consultation and give you advice about the process. We could advise you on, um, you know, there's often questions, Hey, am I eligible for asylum? Am I eligible for TPS? Can I do both at the same time? The answer is yes, yes, yes. You can be eligible for asylum too if in certain situations. Talk it over in a consult first. You can be eligible for TPS as well. You can do both at the same time. Um, there are other potential benefits also. You know, what if I've got family in Ukraine? How can I get them here? Humanitarian parole is potentially an option there. Um, there's no simple way to do that though, um, but Anyway, if we can help you at all, we're just a phone call away. We'd love to do that. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Otis Landerholm, Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.